I just got out of the theaters from witnessing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 on the big screen for my second time, and I have some things that I want to talk about for this film, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the review. Let's go. What's going on, you guys? The Demi God back on Demi God ET, bring you another movie review for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, the third installment into the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy from the MCU, directed by James Gunn. A highly anticipated release going into this because Guardians is one of the last trilogies from back in the day that we had to complete, and it's finally here. How did they do? Well, let's talk about it. So, still reeling from the loss of Gamora, Peter Quill must rally his team to defend the universe and protect one of their own. If the mission is not completely successful, it could possibly lead to the end of the Guardians as we know them. And I gotta say, the entire plot of this film is essentially spoilers, so outside of that, we won't dive into too many things plot-wise, but I do wanna say that this film has a very somber start to it. From the very beginning, with the opening soundtrack, all the way through this film, man, this soundtrack is a lot more dark in tone than what we got to see in volume one and volume two which are my personal favorite soundtracks out of the entire mcu and i gotta say i love the inclusion of backstories inside of this film we get a lot of flashback scenes throughout this movie where certain gaps in our characters backstories have never been fleshed out have never been fully explained or elaborated on and this movie does a fantastic job at doing that at completing the stories it managed to set up through volume one and especially volume two this film successfully wraps up all those storylines and fills in so many questions that we've had throughout the years surrounding the guardians now james gunn brings us amazing visuals inside of this film as he did with the first two especially volume two because volume two still to this day is one of the best looking mcu movies in the entire franchise so when you get to volume three things take the appropriate level up inside of this film from the color palette used inside of here to the sense of atmosphere in certain scenes and the different planets that you visit inside of this movie and after the dark introduction and tone we get right into that usual tone that we're familiar with for the guardians where it's a lot more light-hearted where you're off in space having fun you have this sense of exploration with fantastic characters that we've become very familiar with throughout the years and that you can't help but feel a connection to especially experience Experiencing just the casual moments between them, the dialogue, the conversation, the banter that's always there inside of these movies, amazing dialogue, a new team outfit for the Guardians, which I really appreciated, and something that happens to be missing in Volume 1, something that's slightly included in Volume 2, and that's the deep emotion here. You feel a lot more emotion for these characters, the stakes are a lot higher, especially with the villain going on inside of this movie, that being the High Evolutionary, who at first comes across and feels like a typical evil scientist villain that we've seen a million times in cinema however his character is played to a very high level here and I love how nuanced he is and the lore that goes alongside the high evolutionary inside of here that being that he's essentially the creator for plenty different races throughout the universe so you can almost view him as this god inside the MCU even though he happens to be immortal and man I really love the sense of finality that this film brought I thought this was a great way to wrap up the Guardians trilogy while also leaving a little bit of room for the future Future, so we could potentially see certain characters return in future films and I think this is the most complete Guardians of the Galaxy film that we've received inside the MCU and that we've received from James Gunn in the sense that you get the action there you get the exploration but you also get the emotion you also get the lore with a great villain that's actually despicable inside of this film and I think all this together leads up to being not only one of my favorite movies inside the MCU but possibly my favorite Guardians of the Galaxy movie in the entire trilogy and with that being said guys I'm gonna go ahead and drop the rating for this film. I give Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 a 9 out of 10. It gets the 9 out of 10. I think that's a very fair place to put it considering it definitely evolves upon the last two films inside of this trilogy and I'm really happy with what we got here. I'm glad James Gunn gave us a great film to send us off on before he goes over to DC to take over the DC universe and make that great also and I think DC has a very bright future on their hands considering James Gunn is going to be leading them into their next phase. I can't wait to see what he does next. Those are my thoughts on this film. Let me know your thoughts on Guardians 3 down in the comments section down below. If you don't know why you're on to be on any do commentaries, reactions, or reviews, if you're just any of that in the right place, man, hit subscribe, hit the like button. I drop multiple videos a week on the channel, so you can expect out of me. And if you don't already know, I am the Demigod, the chosen one here on Demigod ENT. And I'm out of this thing now. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace. <laughs>